Hello everyone, this is Larry Hirschberger. Good morning, and this is our third critique from the print competition. This is A True Fairy Tale from Debbie Vucepka. Vucepka. I hope I've got that right, Debbie. Um, let's go through uh, the, the, the two images. On the left is the before image. That's the image that she entered, which is a beautiful image. And uh, you can see on the right, this is the one after I've made a few corrections or, or changes, we'll call them. Um, when I look at, at most images, uh, some of the first things that, that hit me is, is light and composition and color and, and tonal harmony and those kind of things. Those are all part of uh, kind of art 101. And, and you know, the composition in Debbie's image here is, is really pretty. It uh, it's, keeps your eye right in here. Um, I think it's a really nice uh, total feel. I think it's got a pretty colors. Um, but, you know, some of the things that uh, bothered me about it was if you look at how big the, the reeds are in behind here uh, and how bright they are, they tend to draw my eye up to them and keep them there. They're, they're actually bigger than her face. Uh, the second thing, and so you can see over here, I've, I've made them smaller um, and I've also given them a little more shape. Uh, they're, they're, the light in here is a little bit flat. Um, so what I've, I've given everything more shape. So I've got the direction of light is coming in this way from left to right. So I put a little more more brightness on the left hand side of, the, of those reeds, and, and I've toned them, brought them down. I've toned down these flowers a little bit, toned down these flowers a little bit because they're further in the distance than she is. I want all the the attention to come up here to where she is. Second thing, I thought her wings were not quite positioned quite uh, properly on her back because the, it's got the back wing and the front wing all in front of her hair. So what I've done is, and I think they're too small. I think they're, they're really small wings for a, a girl of that size. So I've increased the size of the wings to, so I feel that the composition um, and the perspective fits better. Then I've taken her hair and I've overlapped the back wing. And that simple little thing there, it puts the back wing in the distance. Um, so this is this just changes the feel of those wings on her. I think uh, it, it's more appropriate. The the next thing, you know, the the arms. I don't like to see arms bent inwards like that. I, th I think it looks really um, uncomfortable. So what I've done is I've bent the arms backwards, um, and and I've, I've created that just a little bit of bend. You know, I, I think it's it makes this softer. It leads down to the hands really nice. Um, the, the, the next thing I've done is made sure I've got a, 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 the direction of light uh, around the light in here. I've, I've made sure that, that we have a nice direction of light and, and shape to the arms, and shape to the legs, and uh, even shape within the dress that it, it seems to fall apart in here and get to be pretty flat. So now I've got some nice uh, detail in here. Now the the the. The third or both third, the, the, the other thing in here that I think is, is um, important, you know, for, for me, an image needs to be grounded and I think it, it should be balanced. And so for me, this was very, very blown out on the bottom. There's a lot of, uh, of light here and it's heavy on top and almost, it's almost black in these corners. So there's, I'm not, not seeing much, of de much detail in here. I'd love to see. I mean, I I know I've made images in, 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 earlier in my, my career where um, I look back on them and go, man, you didn't leave enough detail in, in the black, Larry. So I, I what I've done is I've opened this up a little bit and I've brought detail in here, and then I've I've just done a nice vignette on the bottom, and that balances this image all the way across. So now when you look at this, your eye doesn't escape out the bottom of the image or out the the left hand corner here. It does not do an escape out of there. It, it, it holds your attention right into this. So as you can see, the, the, the completed image, I've also done a little levels adjustment to tighten it up a little bit so I can see the, the highs and see the shadows without losing any detail in any of it. Now, listen, Debbie, this is a great structure of image, wonderful set that you set up. Um, I, I, I really think just uh, with a few tweaks, some of it can be done with lighting when you when you start. Um, I really feel that um, your fairy images can be just up another notch from where they already are. Thanks for entering. It's a great image, and uh, I hope this helps everybody, and I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Remember, everybody, keep checking in. I'm going to keep doing posts as we go forward. And uh, if you're looking at getting a spot in our upcoming uh, workshop in St. Pete's Beach, we would love to have you. So just 
feel free to private message me and I'm happy to go over the details. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.